everybody, my name is Sissy and I am a radiology technologist and today I'd like to explain to you an MRI of the brain or the head. An MRI is a diagnostic uh, imaging procedure that is used to get pictures of your body. It uses the water molecules in your body and a big magnet to produce these images. An MRI of the head is a non-invasive test of the head that gets pictures of the brain and the brain stem. 3D imaging allows smaller structures like the pituitary gland and the cranial nerves to be imaged as well. MRIs of the head are useful for detecting or following up on a number of conditions including aneurysms, multiple sclerosis, spinal cord injuries and trauma, hydrocephalus, stroke, infections, tumors, cysts, swelling, hemorrhages, developmental problems, and blood vessel issues. MRIs of the head can also be done to investigate symptoms such as dizziness, weakness, seizures, changes in thinking or behavior, blurred vision, and chronic headaches. In preparing for an MRI of the head, you need to let the medical staff know about all surgical procedures you have had and any trauma that would have put any metal, shrapnel, bullets, and foreign objects in your body. You will need to let the staff know of all symptoms and problems you are having related to the area being looked at. You will be asked to remove any articles of clothing with metal on them or asked to put on paper gowns and paper shorts. Once you have been cleared to enter the MRI suite, you will be positioned on the MRI table for your test. A plastic coil that acts as an antenna bringing signal to the area of interest will be placed around your head. Earplugs will be given to prevent any ear damage from the loud noises the MRI scanner produces. Sometimes cushions are used to help hold the head still. You will be given instructions to hold very still throughout your test as motion can interfere with image quality. Once you are set in the proper position, the MRI table slides into the bore of the magnet where the head will be in the center of the machine. You will lay like this close to 30 minutes. Sometimes your doctor may request contrast with the MRI. This solution enhances blood vessels and allows you to see certain parts of the brain more easily and is administered intravenously. After your MRI is complete, you can get dressed and leave the facility. Those images will be sent to the radiologist and those results sent to your doctor. I hope this explains a little about your MRI of your brain. Have a good day.